yet. We are gonna go ahead and use Severe Poison. We're gonna keep our hand. I'm thinking about playing N, but no, that just, that's just that. What is going on with this? I think it's just, yeah, everyone gonna use the Severe Poison, take out this Manaphy. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And we got another landed line. Cool. So with one prize card, I can actually use end to help me draw, you know, get a reshuffle and pull an artillery there. Well, hello, Negros. And the Frenchels, it's stalled. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I'll be serving you the new and very first Psychic Salazzle, where its best attacks are only one energy. Oh. It's kind of like Greninja, one of those very high value one energy attacks, which they both are. So, it's certainly an interesting card. Most of all, it's the big poison damage that it does, which is okay by itself, but with little help, you can make it quite lethal. So, this is going to be the new Poison Salazzle deck. I'm going to try and do it a standard build this time. Even though poison's real, you can bring it to some insane values and expand it. We're gonna see if this works in you know, the tougher standard meta. So I'm gonna explain to you how this Lazzle deck works, and you're gonna see it in two. I know they're two, but they're two awesome, awesome matches. We are gonna have a very long and funny dance with this first match there. And then the second match, reality check. We'll leave it at that one. So moving on, today's intro is gonna be my remix of You Say Run from Hero Academy. Fight Sun. Hero Academy? Yeah, that's. It's my favorite manga to catch up. Very happy every time when it comes out uh, each week. So, uh, moving on, Salazzle, let us talk about you today. You're the star. You're a psychic now. All Salazzle so far has been fire, but no, you know, she's a poison type. She gets to be in the Salazzle, you know, psychic family. And this time, she's been using some pretty Philly uh, backup uh, dancers. I mean, what are they doing? Yeah, the, the backup dancers. So what are the, what's going on? What can she do? First of all, she's a regular, not GX Pokemon. So for stage 110 is, it's about on target. And most, most of them have around 120. This is 110. We can live with that. She's going to get one shot, but that's okay. It's easier to set her up. Only one single energy, but we can make her a little tougher with this. Yo, all right. Uh, the uh, dancers, go lift some weights. Bodybuilding dumbbell, she's gonna go lift weights. And she gets 40 more hit points for a total of 150 while this is equipped. Stage 1 Pokemon's get 40 more hit points, 150 hit points, and that does make a difference because you cannot use Choice Man against Salazzle. If she lives two turns, that is quite very good value. And you don't, you don't have to set up another Salazzle. Yeah, and it's only one energy to charge it up. So, what are these one energy attacks? First of all, Nasty Plot. So, very uh, very Zorark-like technique. For Zorark, we'll do this. And he's like, oh, you know, we are, uh, you know, we're, we're the same. Uh, we're all sinister, clever Pokemon. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. You can search your deck for any two cards you want. She's resourceful. She can find anything you want and bring it to you. Anything, supporters, energies. Yeah, it sounds good, except you know, you have to get KOs, you have to do damage. That's the whole goal, and this just helps you towards it. And it takes a big, valuable attack slot where you know you're supposed to do damage. All that extra stuff is supposed to be on your trainers and stuff, so you only use it if you, you're stuck, which. There are times that Nasty Plot helps out with that, so the real attack here is going to be Severe Poison. Oh yeah, so her poison intensity, very high. She's very, very toxic. What does it do when, uh, you're, when your opponent's poisoned? They take 4 damage between turns. That's 40 damage, actually. So, if they don't retreat, they will guarantee take 120 damage. Because it ticks 3 times. You know, once after your turn ends, once after their turn ends, and then you get to attack again, which you can't because severe poison, you can't really do more poison. And then that final tick when it comes to their turn is three ticks. All right, so that's 120. We need to do a little bit more than that. So they'll be able to attack twice. We only want to let them attack once. So how do we do that? We use the Viper, which increases poison damage by 10 which stacks three times to 30. So once a Viper, we'll increase this to 150 if they don't retreat. 
two Cell Vipers is 180, and that's where basic GX Pokemons are kind of scared. Three of them is a 210, and that's where stage one GX, which we do not have example, will go down with a 210 hit points. Basically twice their hit points. So we want all three Cell Vipers down. If they don't retreat, they're gone. Perfect! How do we stop them from retreating? You know, in expand it'd be a little bit easier because you could use, say, Dragalge. Where's Dragalge? I gotta spell that correct. Dragal. There you go. With his own, yeah, he's got his own severe poison attack, but this is expanded, so. Yeah, I'm gonna show you real quick. There we go. Poison Bear, Poison Pokemon can't retreat. We don't have that yet. That's. Hey, it's a promo. Oh, it's, it's gone. It's definitely gone. So we can't do that. That's why we're gonna let it be. We do not even have any Goosebas because there's just not enough finisher. So I'm going to use the extra deck space to get make sure this is cons as consistent as possible. So that's how it works. We have a lot of poison damage. Just hope your opponent doesn't retreat. But if they do, I'm going to use a different finisher now. I'll use Miraculous Shine. So as long as they're not a basic Pokemon, if they unevolve, they'll be sure to take a lot, have a lot less hit points. So that poison damage, you know, should can stack high enough to knock out basic Pokemons that evolve. Say 60 damage, we can do that pretty easily with the poison. So, this is our cheap standard finisher that we have. Alright, what else? The rest of the deck, there is not very much bench space you can have. I mean, most of them should be taken up with Cell Vipers. Some of them, the rest remaining with Celestial Toll. With the final bench space, I'm gonna give it to Sushi Master. Hell yeah, Sushi Master, if I'm loan cards, I get more cards. And it's a nice way to work with, uh, without any Coconut Masters. So, the rest! The rest of the deck, what I have? Why are all the numbers missing? And all the numbers are above. This is really buggy. So, take a look here. I've, oh my gosh, I can't actually show you. This is buggy and weird. So, I have extra draw supporters. I'm actually running four Acerolas. Because, turns out, you know, if you can survive, Acerola can really extend the life of Slazzle with 150. Yeah, 150 basic attacks even from GX Pokemons. Quite, you are quite livable with these things. So uh, I found out, I felt like I did Acerola's a lot during the first match. You'll see that. And so that's why she's one of the big cards here. Everything else is part of my, you know, the right amount of my trainer system. I need up draw supporters. I need my Ultra Balls. I'm actually running three Super... Oh, I have three. Just three, believe me, that little number there, it's three. I mean, I only have to fight with four Salazzles. That is how many I have here, so I need to recycle at least two of them to fight the whole remaining fight. So, that is that. That is my Salazzle thing. Heavy Poison, increase it with Surviper, and just hold on. Hold on, use Acerola, keep staying alive, and make that poison wear your opponent out. Alright, let's get to the matches. To another Salazzle match from the new Crimson Invasion expansion. We're using the Poison version. And two extra cards? Yeah, you yeah, know, I'll take that. So, uh, so Viper, go ahead and come and go down there. It is, oh man, free retreat all around with the mana fee. So I'm concerned with the free retreat because, you know, you can evade that. So let's get started. I'll play, we'll do it. I'm playing my remix of Mad Dummy. From, uh, let's see, Mount Lonnie Collin, the one that adds retreat cost? Yep, it does. But anything with water energy kind of undoes that. So he'll be able to run away no matter what. All right, Psyduck, Golduck, it's gonna, it can't one-shot, well, if I'm wearing the right items, it cannot one-shot me, so I'll be okay. Psyduck is looking up to six, like, why me? Or is it maybe happiness? Or bliss? We don't know. No, what I really do need is... Salandit. Okay, because somebody gotta get the energies and stuff. So go ahead and play that right there. You go ahead and get your uh, fighting uh, bodybuilding dumbbell. Doesn't work yet. Now, and the stadium, you know, doesn't look like the most useless one. The floatstone, we're gonna need. Like next turn, we're gonna need that. Or we're gonna even need it. Well, we could use it now. All right, let's uh, get the other core Pokemon out, which is Sushi Master. Sushi Master, go ahead and get yourself out there. Oh yeah, Sand Slap. I don't know, that's, that's coming next expansion. That's coming next expansion. And everybody gets more cards, but especially me. All right, I'm gonna leave that front up there. I'm afraid to send my. Uh, I'm afraid if I send uh, my, my my you know Salazzo up front, he'll be uh, be able to defeat it off the bat. So leave it right there. Leave it be, uh, Sandshrew. 
All right, Golduck is out. He needs... Okay, the double jet combo requires a Starmie because you discard up two energies. Double jet, two energies. Discard two energies from your hand. So you gotta be a, you need something else. You need that Starmie, so we don't have any Guzmas. Oh yeah, Slush Rush. I for, totally forgot about this card. You get one extra draw, but that's not as good as Zora GX, where you get two extra draws. Alright, so it got Brook the Hill. Oh yeah. Alright, so. Let me see. With wow, we have three survivors up. Why not get a nest ball? I should have tossed that tossed another Solana down. That's why the weather that should be there. Well. So, the poison will immediately down this Vulpix. There's the Star You. We cannot get the Star You out. We do not have a Guzma. Nor do we have enough damage to finish it off. Like, uh, yeah, we would need a Guzma exactly this turn. I might go for Pokemon Fan Catcher. Pokemon Catcher. Star me, Alola, Ninetales. Okay. So, the bad part is the retreat, but we'll be able to get KO this. Oh, right. The exact card I needed. Perfect. All right. So, let's get Sushi Master out. It kind of needs a float stone. So we're going to go ahead and retreat with one of our... Probably the tanky one. Now let's go ahead and pull some extra cards. This is... I mean, I got full bench. I don't need this. Oh, perfect. Just the card I needed. So now I don't need anything. I don't need to play anything. Let's go ahead and use Severe Poison on this Vulpix. Should be able to finish it off. Seven tick. There we go. So, take that. And there's the other Rimmerate guard. Now we don't need that card, so they'll definitely be Ultra Ball foods. Golduck comes out, but luckily I can survive one hit. That must be a nice time to play Ace Rolo once he hits me with a double jet. I'll be able to live because of this, unless he two removes me and that, that kind of stuff. Hello, J Trots. Did I say that? Yes, I did. Hello again, J Trots. We got Starmie. Space Beacon, so now basically with Space Beacon, you're able to discard any card from your hand and get two energies back from the discard. And we got more Psyduck lines up. Okay. Alright. You know, Ace Roll would be very, very nice here. We're going for Attrition. And with 32 card space left, this is pretty good. Alright, Double Jet. How many energies you got in your hand? Probably, let's see, two. Both of them. So, I uh, luckily with the belt, I am still alive. Now, this is where you want to ace a roll of big time. Oh my gosh, they're just giving me the cards I want off the bat. Perfect. Now, I'm going to Ultra Ball these two because I don't need them. And there's actually no Pokemons I want. However, that gets me more card pulls with this. So, we want more card pulls. That goes, there goes our float stones. Hopefully, we'll have to deal with the retreat. All right, Mount Lanikala. Might as well toss it out there. We got Professor Sycamore. It's okay losing this. I'll super. I got three super rods. I'll get them back. We're looking for Acerola. It looks like it's not here this time. So you know what? I don't have to. You know I can replay her off retreat. This is where I kind of want the other stadium now. You know, not let you get the KO. I may. You live to fight another day. Better put this on you. Just uh, but not count the turn. All right, I think that's that. Is there any reason to super rod right now? Not yet. I, ran, I need to save for the whole Solandit line. So we're gonna use severe poison and with this. If he doesn't retreat, he's gone. He's wounded. Yep. All right, so we're going for attrition here. No, uh, well, no acerolas. I'm gonna add some more in because now I'm feeling it. I need it. And the anti GX Alola Nine Tails. J Trots, I'm in Memphis right now. I'm playing regionals tomorrow. Good luck with that, guys. Good luck with that. Uh, good luck with that, J Trots. It's big. I want to do. I want to see what the next big thing is. I'm expecting Buzzwalls or a Fighting Deck to come out on top. Hopefully, like it, Rock. Hello, Divine Riku. Welcome. Welcome to my Twitch stream. You're you're seeing me going against a tough Poison deck. So here's. It's kind of funny the Manaphy's here, but there's a. Uh, these things got free retreat. You know, you know, the more retreat can't help, can't help. You know, okay, man, we're getting thinner the deck. Ah, uh, I'm looking at my deck draws. He, I'm gonna deck up before he does, and if I play sick more, which I kind of want to, it's uh, it's bad. So wow, Stormy's gonna get the energy. Okay, you know, I got too many energies anyways. It helps me with the retreat cost because of Manaphy. So there, there's that. And taking away my stadium just cuz. See, there's, now the there's just too many of all Pokemon nowadays. Lanikala is just too specific. So he's actually gonna double jet me. I would have retreated and fought with the other, uh, 
fought with. Well, actually, there's nothing else I can fight. And there it goes. There it goes. Acerola, come on. So now it lose. He loses that card on his turn. So that means I get to take something else. Nobody's really ready to fight. I guess he's gonna fight with the Stormy. Thirty hit points. That's good enough. All right. So Acerola, I haven't got 19 cards left. I'm not gonna be able to uh, do anything else. So Nine Tails comes out actually. Acerola, that's where you are. Perfect. Too bad there are two wounded ones. Too bad there are two wounded ones. So let's go ahead and pick you up. There we go, right on the next pool. And there's only one other Pokemon that can fight right now. So we'll go ahead and pull Solander down right here. Put the energy down. There's no two removals to remove. You know what? Let's just get the stadium out. Take away that deck space. And I'll go ahead and give you the bodybuilding bum belt. I'm going to save this to get the whole Salazzle line. Like, I need all of them back. The energy is not so big right now. Let's go ahead and use Severe Poison. We're, we're, we're wounded, but... Hey, at least that's... I'm healing one Salazzle. Poison! With two ticks, we can finish this off! The problem is, I think I, you need a second attacker. I just don't have the best place for a second attacker. You can see, everything's with Salazzle. We got this. We only have two bench space for our attackers. So the only thing that can really fight is Salazzle. We just have to keep on flipping them and keeping them uh, in battle. So that's that's the deal. That's the dealio. I'm playing God of War Max Potion on my game now. This is Timmy. Ooh, that sounds powerful. That was really, really good today. With the uh, Max Potion God of War. Let's see. You get the you have the you have that that, that, that aroma tea. Move energy around. Focus on the match. Uh, good luck with that, Timmy. So if he does not retreat this, which he if he, he just needs one energy to retreat, then it burns out. Yeah, and I'll take a prize card. So we're going for attrition. The energy goes onto the Manaphy. I guess maybe to heal off the, these all guys off. So Brock's grit. Long time you don't see that. You know, I don't. You don't usually see that because I don't know. I don't like it because without the verse seeker, often uh, you know you could replace it with the super rod. It wouldn't actually be so bad. I just don't like it as a supporter. I prefer the super rod because of course they're faster. So, he lets me have this. He could totally juggle this. Juggle this up, but he lets me have it. So I'm being, uh... I think everybody, all the big players are in Memphis right now. That's what. That's what's going on, guys. Everybody's in Memphis. So, at this point, we're gonna throw down this lasso. I am definitely gonna juggle. I don't want to lose any of these things at all. I'd rather pay off an energy. And I know I have eight energies left. So I'm not going to start recycling immediately. I think I won't start recycling. Alright, well I'm not going to start recycling yet. We are going to go ahead and use Severe Poison. We're going to keep our hand. I'm thinking about playing N, but no, that just, that's just that. What is going on with this? I think it's just, yeah, everyone, everyone's busy in Memphis today. Hello, Van Walker. Hello. Thanks. Just one. Congratulations, Jimmy. Two energies. Fighting with the Starmie. Now he's gonna retreat. Yep. Not gonna fight with the. Not gonna fight with them. Yeah, yeah. He knows it. That's how you remove the poison. Starmie is gonna go for the paralysis, and this is where we're kind of looking for Acerola here. Yep. Hey, don't wait. No max potion in this deck. Since you could use one energy, it totally could fit. It totally could fit. We just use it. We, we're using Acerola because uh, it's more. Uh, I think it's more efficient. Yeah, you don't have to kill, lose that energy right there. So there is there is a max potion type kind of card. So let's hope we don't get paralyzed. He's actually fighting with this. 130 hit points, damage increase. Oh, I am paralyzed. I have no way to deal with that. Just hope that I draw Acerola. <laughs> there it is. Let's do it. Acerola. We we we'll add another one in. So this is the one where I can start using Super Rod pretty darn soon. Put the energy on you. Put the bodybuilding dumbbell back. You know, I, I have too many cards I don't actually need. We're gonna wait. I kind of want to use that Super Rod now. So I draw the energy a little bit more consistently. Let's go ahead and pull these back. The energy's back. And I think that's it. We're gonna go ahead with our Slazzle. Use a severe poison attack. And leave it be. All right, 19 cards. I guess I wouldn't be. Well, I have the whole Salazzle line here. I'm just missing the energy next turn, so we may have to end and not an artillery for that. Extra card pool. 
It's working out. Baby decks. Lol, LOL, top decks are the best. Yes, they are. Dude, we're going for four Acer Rollers next time. I can't believe these Lassos are living. They have a very long lifespan with a, with a with, 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 with certain helping card. Evil Soto! Oh, so many cards could actually evolve right now. It is another Golduck. So he has a free retreat. He should keep switching. That's why I'm kind of... I know he can't keep switching. Or he just... Yeah. Not give me give a prize card. Now, man, if he's going to come out, which, you know, it's vulnerable. I can get two more prize cards off this. And he fights with that kid. Able to heal off the star. I mean, good choice, but... All right. We're, we're definitely going to be greedy with this one here. There we go. Salazzo goes down. Heals that off. Man, if he's worth two prize cards. All right. So Salazzo has to go out. We got to top deck that energy. I, I recycled two of them back, so... All right. We got to land it down. We got to evolve this. We can basically use everything that's good and be able to reshuffle uh, be reshuffle these guys back as well as an energy. So now it's a good time to play Sycamore. Here we go. Yeah, I don't need the rest of the stuff. I needed them earlier to set up, so so many junk. You know, we can actually use uh, that later too. So we do land the energy, luckily. Very fortunately, I'm going to use the Severe Poison, take out this Manaphy. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And we got another landed line. Cool. So with one prize card, I can actually use end to help me draw, you know, get a reshuffle and pull an artillery down. Great. This is working out a lot better than expected. And Skulda comes out. Uh, here, let me see. That has... How many hit points does that have? 60. So I'm not going to be able to finish this off. So, you know, if Espeon comes out, we can get a sneaky snipe. Yeah. Let's see. I think... 60 hit points. Perfect. Professor Kukui, oh, getting the bonus damage. That does 140. Do I have enough hit points to live? Barely. How many Acer Rollers you use? Two. I only have three, so it's not in my hand right now. Of course it's not. We can see that. So there's nothing I can actually use in my hand, so I may just end and get a reshuffle. So I'm going to survive. If I can, I, I would have played Acer Roller this turn, or retreat with it, send out the noose to land it that's healthier. It doesn't matter. I actually just need Espeon to come out to finish the game. Yeah. So I may just w hold up a turn. Let it be. Let him escape. Let him think he's safe and then uh, finish it off right there. All right. So uh, 18 cards and 14 cards. He's catching up now. With X. You know, Sandrum's kind of cool. That's, yeah, Zorak, Zorak GX is definitely way better because you got the extra hit points and everything there. How old are you, Donald? I'm 28. I'm 28 this year. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of kind of afraid of getting close to 30. For the records, you didn't use Espeon. Well, I, well I, I'm fixing to do that. Oh, Pippi used to go Game Boy Color. It's so different. I don't know about that. So let's go ahead and play this right here. We are gonna go ahead and use our Severe Poison. We have, you know, prize cards to, to, to burn. So Severe Poison, poison you, and I have one hit point left. One measly little hit point. So 20 damage there. Uh, he's gotta run away. He's gotta run away. And this is my secret final, 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 final move. Surprisingly, this worked. You look younger than 20. Oh, why? Thank you, you slipstream. Thank you very much. All right. So, a low lens slash slash gets the energy. He's like, oh, I'm going to fight. Yeah. He's like, who else can fight? There's only, only usually Golduck is supposed to fight, but there's, like, there's no Golduck around. Retreat, send out the Starmie. And I think, actually, I think that Star you actually has 40 hit points. So we maybe get a double KO with this. And shuffle everything back. Don't worry. Sushi Master is like, oh, you look starving, Donald. I'll help you out with that. So Espeon is not going to be in my hand right now. Okay, yes, it is. I just need energy. So Lazzle's like, I'm going down, guys. You hang on. Fix it. You hold on for me. You guys finish this up. Whatever. Seven, seven, three, three. Well, it was seven damage tick. All right. And then, you know, with his own end, he can still... He, that just free draws. Just 100% free. Free extra card. Space Beacon. Oh, man, this is a long turn. Yeah, I'll just get the energies back. More cards. You get a net gain. You lose one card, you get two cards. All right, so now I guess, you know, he only retreated once. 
No, he hasn't played Uses Retreat. This thing just came up. He gave us mana fee for two prize cards for nothing. I was like, ah, I guess I can see the combo there. All right, fix it. This is fixing freeze up. Oh, maybe finish up. I still have one more super odd. So, you know, that's... Oh, I'm paralyzed too. I'm not telling you're paralyzed. This doesn't feel good for us. Like, yep. Duh. You're having a bad day. So let's send something with a free retreat out. I'm going to need more carpools. So let's see. Let's go ahead and use the Abyssal Hand. Wow, I could actually use the Stadium to pull extra stuff. But I don't need to. There. Oh, it gave me everything perfectly. We don't need this. We don't need extra carpools. We need that energy. This is game. We're going to get a double prize card kill with this. Yeah, Espeon, Energy, Retreat, the evolution and this should give me two KOs, the Starmie and the Golduck for a seven prize kill. Wait, no, never mind, wrong Staryu. This is the free retreat star Staryu, this is it. But this one, this one should go. There it is, never mind, just one. You can't do math. You just don't know, you, you think of the other Staryu that had 40 hit points. That's the other Staryu. It worked. Unexpectedly, it worked. Oh, are you still skilled right now? I've graduated. I got my degree. Good, thank you. Poker school. Yeah, I'm always in poker school. Welcome to another Salazzle match. Today's Twitch giveaway winner, winner is uh, he's Timmy's Timmy on the Twitch Pokemon Elite X. So we're playing an actual deck now. Here we go. Zora. Ar oh yeah, Fennekin. Let's do this. All right, I'm gonna play my remix of Ultimate Battle. So, Lazlo, do your best to hold on your own, okay? So you got this, Don. I got this, Donald. I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. Get out my Sushi Master. Bodybuilding Bump Delt. Energy. You know, I kind of have what I need, ha need in my hand right now, so I can end again. You don't fill up my bench. Here we go. End. Everybody gets more cards. Not so bad. Not bad at all. So, you know what? I get to attack my first turn. Let's go ahead and do that then. Here we go. Singe. You're, you're burnt. It's like, oh, yeah, I can burn too. I'm a, you know, I'm a fire Pokemon. We can do that. You can now, you can be burnt. Oh, the, the burn stayed. So that means I get a little bit extra damage after this. Cool. Well, and rare candy. There is the first Fennekin. Oh, I'm sorry. Del Fox. So with Psy Storm. I should not be able to survive too too long after this. Blown stone. I'm gonna go back. Put this put this Pokemon to sleep. I'll be able I think I'll be able to handle that. Zorark GX as well coming pretty darn soon. So the energy could have gone to here with the side store, but you no, know, balance it out. One fib fi wipe wipe this to land it out. Then I won't have much of a chance. Alright. Okay. Here we go. Zora comes out. I only have 60 hit points. He has a free retreat up. And with this, only Sushi Master is going to be out. No, it's going to be... Oh, no, he could have chosen... He definitely could have chosen the Zora. But he's going for the break to get the extra energy. Actually, Zora could definitely come out, too. It's still there. Oh, wait, he can't evolve it. I think he just threw it down this turn. All right, so he could have... Could he have attacked? Yeah, he could have... He could have put the energy onto this side storm for 80 damage. And I would have lost my Slendid. I think it's going easy on me. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. Let me go ahead and play, um, I need to set up. I don't need this Field Blower right now. Actually, I could have given the Field Blower. He, he could have paid energy to retreat anyways. But you can tell he's going easy on me. Here we go, so Lazo come out here. And I'm gonna send you up here. Now I, you know what? Don't have to Sycamore. But I think Sycamore is nice. Losing one Super Rod kind of stinks, but I'm going to go for it. We're going to get Sushi Master out too. And play this right here. And I'm going to go ahead and be greedy. Sushi Master and, and Sycamore do not ever mix. Yeah, we're going to lose another Super Rod again. Two Super Rod. See, that's, you kind of knew that, Donald. Why did you do that? Uh, you know, it's use it or lose it. Here we go. Two Super Rods gone. That means I will not be able to fight. You know, with I gotta be careful with one last Super Rod left. All right, that's that. We're gonna go ahead and throw this off. I have another Salazzle up, so that's why I'm gonna try to get it out there to so land it. 
All right, so Lana goes down. We're gonna use severe poison just cause. So it has to retreat, otherwise it's KO. I could have. I think. Yeah, I should. I should have uh, used the tour removal that I had to take it out. Yeah, then it, he would have been able. He would have to waste the extra fine energy here. So now Belfox Brick is gonna come out. Two energies here. Uh oh. It's coming. With three energies, our Salazzles will be blown up. That's 150 hit points, so you need eight energy across the board. There is five, six, so she's getting pretty close. Although Zoroark itself would, yeah, would be able to suffice. There is the baby Zoroark. Oh, the big Zoroark GX. And now with the retreat, I should be gone. All right, so how many energies? Five, six, so we need eight. Retreat. Comes out, size storm or flickering flames. Size storm, I'm alive. Lucky me. Great. Well, there's nothing else for me to do but to use Ace of Roll Up. Oh yeah. All right, so land it. Go ahead and come out. Now I can go ahead and toss everything back out again. And, but eventually, there's gonna become a point where I won't be able to survive anymore. It just scales a little too high. The one you can pull extra cards out. I can't afford to lose these energies right now. So we're gonna go ahead and use severe poison. Poison this Delphox. There we go. Five poison per tick. And live a little bit longer. Now with the energy, it's able to get energy with the Flare Witch. One free energy. It's like I'm a magician. I'm, the, I'm a sorceress. That's got the right name. She knows some magic. Dragon Green, have you tried Imakuni? Nope. I think that's... Can you actually play that? Is that actually the game? It was the most pointless card when I was younger. I don't think it's actually in the game right now. But, uh, yep. Flare Witch, here we go. Now, Zo Doyle Fox Break has reached a critical mass. I will be one shot it. I've used up too many super odds. I can last a little bit longer, but yeah, this is bad. So, let's see. What do I need to do? There's a much. Side Storm, <laughs> 180 damage. I am destroyed. So, in order to finish this off, I may have to go with a Singe. That might be enough. No, I just need 30 damage, and that's uh, not not there. Wait, wait. Yeah, it might it might work. Okay, hang on. Set this up right now. I need to add in. I need to add some more poison in. Here's what I need to do. I need to play this. I need Ultra Ball the exact. I could de-evolution. Hit it with de-evolution too. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about the evolution. I have to do this. We're gonna need another one of these. We're gonna go ahead and add intense the uh, increase the poison with this. So with a six tick, that's not enough. I would have to attack. All right, there's not much for me to do. I'm gonna play Altar of the Moon. With all the super rod guns, it's gonna be pretty scary. I'm looking for another base evolution. That's that. All right, we're gonna singe, singe this with the poison and the burn. That should be enough. There we go, barely enough. And that looked to get me the KO. Although using an Espeon would have much been much more efficient. Would have been much, much more efficient. So with that, I only have one super rod left. It's really, really hard to get these uh, evolutions lined back. Especially when we put all the evolutions, none of the baby ones. So there we go, and then Coconut Master comes out. Ooh, so that was a use to land a bird. Yep, yep, I saw that. But it would. I should have Ultra Balled. Yeah, I should have Ultra Balled the the, the, the evolution. It would have been much more safer. Then I wouldn't have to give up the Salandit. Okay, so catching myself right there. We see Energy Drive. Nope. Poor baby, that's two of, two of them down. There's only two left in the deck. So I'll put this card down here, and right now, I need the baby form. I don't have the baby form. That stinks. So I'm gonna have to flip for it. I got all the evolutions here. We're gonna try to look for that super rod as well. There we go. There's the baby form. Baby form. Energy. Put some extra card pulls. Usually doesn't work with Sycamore, but we're gonna do it anyways, because we're desperate. Put this on right here, hold out for the turn. Yeah! Let's see, two, 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 uh... Alright. Darn Sycamore. It's not cool. We gotta, uh, 
When the, when the new, uh, when the new subject comes out, you're getting replaced. You got the style. Thank you. Thank you for your faith. Okay. So, three energies up. Sycamore. It's fun. Big GXs. Let's see, how much hit points is that? It says 80. I don't think I have anything that can actually do 80 right now. And it's going to be able to retreat as well. And the critical mass, there's so many energies out. Okay. Once it becomes its, it's stage, that big God of War again, I'm going to have no chance. Ooh, 120 damage. Going to finish this out. Ooh. All right. So, Zor comes out. We're going to go ahead and send the Solanta down because, I mean, you got to fight Vex. Nobody else can do that. Oh, yeah. Super odd. All right. Get the baby's forms. Get all these. We don't need the energies. Well, technically, we do need the energies, but we don't have a choice. So, maximize the amount of Solanids I'm able to use. All right. Salazzle. Get you out there. Let's go ahead and sick more. Let's just do it. I know I'm running out of cars, but there's not much. I don't have much time left. Oh yeah, babies. Let's go out there. Let's get you up so you guys can evolve. Get you an energy, dude. Don't waste an energy. All right, pull, pull, sushi master. I'm getting close. All the babies are here. Perfect. Well, we'll be able to fight, fight to the last, the last, the, the bitter end. So let's go ahead and use severe poison. Oh man, better uh, SPN GX. I hope you are in, the, in my deck. So two energies. I'm very low in energies. Five ener five damage poison. Rare candy. Here comes. Here comes. Here comes the the queen. The one with the one shot. So this can't one shot me. It cannot. But this can. It will absolutely explode. So field blowers. Oh no! There goes. Okay, never mind. They all can one shot me now. They all can one-shot me, Salazzle. That's one turn for ya. Do we need to Singe again? No, we're gonna send this out right here. We're gonna send this out. Search down values, there's one that says... Huh? On what side can I buy decks? Like in the game? I don't know, I better not follow that. Focus on the match. Alright. Alright. Focusing, focusing. That is a big, very powerful coconut master. Riot is beating. Without, without that protection, uh, the thing protecting me, I'm gonna lose this. And he takes a bit of damage. All right. It's not here, guys. It's not here. It's in my prize cards. This is where you need a Gladian. Let's go ahead and retreat. Get Salazzle up. Go ahead and play this. Evolve the last Salazzle. Why not? We got four turns left, guys. If we use Sushi Master this turn, we would actually lose. We're gonna... We can't, you know, use more more severe poison. It's already poisoned. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Severe poison anyways! Extra poison. <laughs> All right. So, with three cards left, we are... That's it. That's it. I may lose... Uh, well, he... I think he'll be able to take all his surprise guards by then. So with free retreat, gotta go run right away. And hello, big one shot, Dale Fox. Uh, you know, if we had an Espeon, we probably could get one more prize guard instead of just one here. So, okay. Dale Fox with so many energies. One, two, three, uh, four DCs. Um, well, let me see. Six, nine, nine, nine with two of my own. So that's... 11, 220 damage. I can do math. Yeah! <laughs> and this is it. We're gonna poison it before we go down. We're gonna poison one more time. Hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna sick more too. It's just what the heck of it is. So, style. Here we do this. No, I'm not gonna, oh, don't waste your turn. Poison! We have decked out. We're gonna poison this Del Fox. And this is it. So good night, doll. Oh, good night, game, game, Shiko. And this should be it. Psy Storm, 200 damage. Because I had one less energy for that Pokemon. And he loses it. And he wins in two different conditions. And this is how, you know, Salazzle can go. This is how what would happen if you took it to a competitive. Or against a, you know, a good tech. That is just how it's going to be. So, exactly that. Good game, uh, the lead, Elite X. That's just the life of Salazzle. That's, that's that. GG. Moving on. Well... Looks like you reached the end. Thank you. Congratulations. It is time we rate this deck. So let's break it down. Salazzle, what's your unique trait? What's your special? 
I'd say it's a combo of two unique traits. One that you have one energy for your stuff, and two is that you get a lot of value for this one energy attack. It's big poison tick, which needs a bit of help, but can make GX Pokemons go down one attack if they don't retreat. So, that's our unique trait, I feel. It's efficient, it's normal, it doesn't really give you a big advantage in the game. It just does enough. It makes equal to maybe other things. I suppose. Damage. We're going to give you a 3 out of 5. There's no one shot in this deck at all. It is a 2 hit no matter what. There's no but of that. And you're also missing a finishing move too. Because the most damage you can do is 70 immediately to finish off a Pokemon. And that's kind of low. So the retreating really, really uh, limits the damage of this deck, which we'll talk about in a bit. Setup. How good is the setup? It felt normal to me. There wasn't anything really special. It's a one energy deck, which means only one Pokemon can be active at a time, unless she, well, she, she can last a couple turns. But you're using Acerola. There's nothing really special about this in terms of setup. It felt you know, pretty normal. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. It's average. Nothing to say more about that defense. We'll give you a little extra. 4.5 here. Because Ace Rola is denying prize cards, allowing you to heal your Salazzle back up to full. She's only worth one prize card. And most of your deck are just one prize card. So your opponents will be fighting for like six or sevens even. So a little bit of extra D points there. And finally, the rating. I'm going to give it a two out of five. I don't recommend this deck at all, even for fun, this silliness. Well, at least you have the cards, like, I'm gonna do it. There we go, Salazzle. There is no finishing move here. There is no finisher. Yeah, there is, but I really like something else to help fish off the poison. Like, 7 damage immediately kind of sucks if your opponent retreats. There's no way to stop that. Because, I mean, they know. Always retreat your Pokemon, and... You're just taking 7 damage per turn. And that kind of is really limiting. And that's why Salazzle isn't really that playable. So, oh, don't do it. The weakness? Retreat. Just, that's the easiest way to clear the poison. It's actually, if you can remove the poison somehow, that's that. The better you can remove the poison, the more this deck isn't terrible. Because it is 100% poison. Alright, so, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not going to recommend any upgrades. Actually, I am. If you really want to take this a little step further, Try to take out Octillery. Put in... I know Dragalka is gone, but I, there's a really, really soft substitute, which is Duck Trio. Duck Trio. I think it's the Lowland Duck Trio. So I better type in Lowland. Oh, oh, yeah, he's right here. Tangling here. The opponent has one extra retreat cost, which may make it a little hard to retreat. That's about it. That's how you may stop them from retreating. Here, here's one extra retreat cost. Don't worry about your switches, trainers, Guzmas, Acerolas. Yeah, there's that. So, that's that for an upgrade. And then you would have to make, you know, make do without auxiliary. Use more trainers, maybe draw, draw some more, and items to make up for that. So, that is it for now. Anything else? I think that's it with Salazzle. What is up for next time? We're going to revisit Silvalai. However, uh, this is Silvalai right here. I mean, Silvalai has a lot of variations. We're going to go into Expanded this time because I want to make a big multi-element deck. Like, allow this Silvalai to hit as many elements as it can. So, we're going to make him hit for about seven different elements, I believe. Yeah, seven elements Silvalai in Expanded, of course. So, you'll see how that works for next time. So, next time, Silvalai. Alright, that's up for next. I've been waiting to do this one, and it turned out really fun. So, uh... Don't miss tomorrow's video for sure. So, let me wrap it up. Totally. Please like, subscribe. Helps us out. And uh, follow me on social media. I'll give you clues when new things are happening. Streams, new videos. Uh, you can chat with me in Discord. Our Discord link is right above my head right there. Look at my ceiling. And uh, remixes can be found on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. If you like these remixes, I do. They're all there. Our next video is tomorrow. Yay! And I do have other secret YouTube channels. I do still do vlogs for now. If you really want to know why I do all day, 
I live a very simple life, and we're starting up a... Uh, let's see, uh, we already started. We started the new uh, RPG game, which I'm enjoying a lot. So if you like watching, you know, those games, as well as uh, the commentaries that go along with that, that's that. So, that is it for now. Thank you very much, Undergrowers and Differentials. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Civil IGX. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Take it easy. 